parents object to Satanism culture. The generational evolution of shock factor marketing. Children in the current generation are being bombarded by evil from all sides, by the societal normalization of Satanism culture. By comparison, the evils presented in previous generations seem tame and corny. Remember how the rock band KISS made parents suspicious in the 1970s? Today we laugh at how corny that sounds, but the allure of the shock factor has always been an effective marketing tactic. Apparently it takes a lot to shock people nowadays. So, why were protective parents around the globe convinced that the name of the rock band KISS was really an acronym for Knights in Service of Satan. On stage, they looked like they'd come straight from the gates of hell, dressed head to toe in black, their faces adorned with macabre makeup. When Kiss hit the concert circuit in 1973, rock and roll was undergoing an image transformation. The group drew a sitting room only crowd of three people to their first gig. The emergence of androgynous rockers such as David Bowie and Mark Bolan, along with the popularity of glam groups such as Mott the Hoople and the New York Dolls, forced bands to find new, exciting, and controversial methods to market their products. When four young rockers from New York City decided to combine comic book characters and colorful costumes with a morbid mentality, they needed an appropriate handle to describe themselves, one that was easy to spell and mysterious enough to keep their fans confused. Drummer Peter Chris had been in a group called Lips, which prompted the crew to dub themselves KISS. According to the boys in the band, the name was spelled in capital letters to make it stand out and was never meant to be an acronym for anything. But that revelation didn't stop members of religious flocks who considered rock and roll to be synonymous with the sounds of Satan from claiming that the group's moniker was a devilish derivation. In fact, the KISS name has spawned several acronymic identities, including Keep It, Keep it Simple Stupid, Kids in Satan's Service, and Korean Intelligence Support System. Judging from the millions of records they've sold in their 45 plus years in the business, as well as their relentless licensing of KISS-related merchandise, a more appropriate name for the band might be Cash. Step by step, marketing the shock factor has now devolved to amazing lows. It's not a surprise to hear children chanting spells or see them checking out witchcraft books from the school library. What about vaping or tattoos? or discussing cannibalism as an alternative to population control. Just remember that these attractions, and many others, are all marketed for money. Hmm, what is that old saying? The love of money is the root of all evil. Teach them to spend their money elsewhere. 